Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about portal vein Doppler ultrasound. This is an image of a normal portal vein with color Doppler applied. The red color indicates that the flow is towards the probe and this is the liver. So the blood is flowing towards the liver. This flow is called hepatopetal flow. It is seen in normal portal veins. This is a case of portal hypertension. In portal hypertension, the pressure within the portal vein increases. The increase in pressure occurs due to increased resistance to blood flow in the portal vein. This can occur in conditions such as cirrhosis where there is formation of scar tissue in the liver. This can increase the resistance to blood flow in the portal veins. This can lead to portal hypertension. In this image there is hepatofugal flow which means blood is flowing away from the liver. The color is blue which indicates that the blood is flowing away from the probe. So this is hepatofugal flow. There is also some color mixing due to turbulence. Here is a spectral Doppler waveform for the portal vein. This is the normal Doppler waveform. It is a monophasic waveform consisting of forward flow. The blood velocity can vary, but it is usually between 15 and 40 centimeters per second. The positivity index is approximately less than 0.3. The normal diameter of the portal vein can vary, but it is usually between 1 and 1.5 centimeters. In case of portal hypertension, the blood flow velocity can be reduced. It will be less than 15 centimeters per second. In this case, it is less than 10 centimeters per second. The value of positivity index will also be abnormal. We can see a thrombus within the portal vein. A thrombus can also cause portal hypertension. In some cases of portal hypertension, we may find to and fro flow, which is an alternating forward and reversed flow. We will get a biphasic waveform on spectral Doppler consisting of forward flow and flow reversal. This is a combination of alternating hepatopetal and hepatofugal blood flow. It can be seen in severe cases of portal hypertension. Here is another case of portal hypertension. It is showing stagnant low velocity flow on spectral Doppler. On color Doppler, we cannot even see the Doppler signals because the flow is very slow. It is much less than 15 centimeters per second. There is also portal vein thrombosis in this image. In chronic cases of portal hypertension, collateral vessels may form around the main portal vein, and these collaterals can be seen with color Doppler. They will appear as tortuous 
vascular structures around the portal vein. The collateral veins may develop as a compensatory mechanism to bypass the high pressure system. This image shows spectral Doppler analysis of the portal vein in a patient with tricuspid regurgitation. On spectral Doppler, a pulsatile flow can be seen due to backflow of blood into the right atrium, affecting venous return, which includes the portal vein. So, in patients with tricuspid regurgitation, you may find this type of waveform in the portal vein. In portal vein thrombosis, a clot forms within the lumen of the portal vein. There are two types of thrombosis in a portal vein. The first type is bland portal vein thrombosis. A bland thrombus does not form due to conditions such as liver cancers or any other cancers. This thrombus can form due to liver cirrhosis, pancreatitis or other abdominal infections. On ultrasound, the thrombus may appear as a hyperechoic structure within the lumen of the portal vein. The normal lumen is anechoic. Here is another case of a bland portal vein thrombosis. We can see a hyperechoic structure within the lumen. A thrombus in acute thrombosis may appear hypoechoid and can be difficult to see on B mode ultrasound. So, color doctor is much better in locating these types of thrombosis. This is the thrombus, it is hypoechoic and has occupied the lumen. No blood flow is seen within a bland thrombus. A malignant portal vein thrombosis is associated with liver cancers such as hepatocellular carcinoma or other cancers. The main distinguishing feature between a malignant portal vein thrombosis and a bland thrombosis is that the malignant thrombus will have internal flow which will be seen on color Doppler. Cavernous transformation is the term given to formation of collaterals around the portal vein. This can occur in chronic cases of portal vein thrombosis. Portal vein Aneurysm is rare. It is defined as abnormal focal dilatation of the portal vein. The diameter will be more than 1.5 centimeters. We can see an increased diameter of the lumen here. This diameter is normal. In this image, the aneurysm is much more significant. Some institutions suggest the normal diameter of portal vein to be between 1 and 1.5 centimeters, whereas other institutions suggest the normal limit to be 1.3 centimeters. So there are some variations for the normal values of portal vein diameters. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.